So the problem is Kendall is filling four and five tenths ounce bottles with a bubble solution for her party. She was able to fill three and five tenths bottles. How many ounces of bubble solution did she make? So we're looking for a total. We need to multiply a decimal, a whole number and a decimal by a whole number and a decimal to do that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that using an area model. So the first thing we need to do is we need to draw the first number and I'm going to draw using base 10. One, two, three, four holes, and we need five tenths. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have four and five tenths. Next, here is where it gets a little tricky. Our next number is three and five tenths. They both share the first box because the three and five tenths I'm going to be writing down. I'm going to be making rows of three and five tenths. So it's one hole. They share that one hole. Two holes. Three holes. And five tenths. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's the area, the part that some people make a mistake on, is they forget that they share the very first whole number. So you need to make sure that you have four and five tenths going across and three and five tenths going down. Are you with me so far? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the next step is just extending the lines to make a square or an array. So I'm gonna start with the rows. I'm gonna extend this line. I'm gonna extend this line. And here's where it can get a little confusing. I said you may use a ruler to make it straight, to make sure your lines are straight. You may use note paper if that helps you. Um, you just need to make sure you have the right amount drawn. When I'm done with my rows, I'm going to ask you to check over my work and make sure I have all of my lines continue. Did I miss one? Are they yeah. all there? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rows going down. I'm going to make columns using my four and five tenths. I'm going to extend these lines just like I did with my rows. going to be perfect because I can't use a ruler. Yep, I usually have a couple of extra. Yay. Okay, so here's my total. So now all I need to do to figure out my whole number by decimal times a whole number in a decimal is I need to count up all of my boxes, all of my spaces. So let's count the total number of holes we have first. We've got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve holes. I want to keep track of that over here. Um, each of these and these represent what? Each of those little long little lines represent what number? Laura? A tenth. A tenth. How many tenths make up a hole? Alex? Ten. So let's see how many holes we can make using the tenths that we have in this area model. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's two holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's three holes. I don't think I'm going to make another one. So I'm just going to add three holes over here. And how many tenths do we have left right here that we haven't counted yet, Alexis? Five. Okay, so now we have one little area left we need to figure out. This area right here. Each one of those little boxes represents what decimal? Jordan? A hundredth. A hundredth. Let's figure out how many hundredths we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 hundredths. And all we have left to do now is add. And since we're adding decimals, we need to make sure we line them up. I'm going to make sure they all have the same place value, so I'm going to just add zeros to those. And now we're just adding. 5, 0 plus 0 plus 5 plus 2 is? 
Seven. 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 Decimal down since we're adding. Three plus two. Five. Five. And one plus nothing. One. All right, so now that we've used the area model to solve it, again, this method, there's definitely room for error. If you miss a little box here or if you draw an extra line, there is room for error. So we can use two methods to check over our work. One method is just by estimating and rounding and seeing if this is a reasonable answer. So 4 and 5 tenths is already pretty much rounded, and so is 3 and 5 tenths. Um, but it's not very easy to multiply those two together again, right? Uh, so let's round, since they're right in the middle, both of them, let's round four and five tenths up to five. five. And let's round three and five tenths down, just to make sure we have both represented. Yes. To three. To three. And five times three is? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so that's our estimate. The second way we're going to check over our work that we can is by using the algorithm, which we know how to do. So we are going to start just by multiplying it like we ordinarily would multiply a double digit by a double digit number. So 5 times 5 is, class? 45. 22. 5 times 3? 15. Plus 2? 17. Okay, we've finished the, ten, or the tenths. Now we're moving on to the whole. 5 times 4? 20. 20. 4 times 3? Plus two. Fourteen. All right, so we've got five, seven, five, and one. Now we need to figure out where that decimal goes. We've gone one there, one there, one jump to the left, and one jump to the left. How many jumps to the left in all? Two. Two. So we go one, two jumps down here, and we've got 15 and 75 hundredths, which is exactly the same so that we know that our answer is correct.